Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and behind me I have the A10M. It's pretty amazing to do dual color printing and that you can set it up in Kira, but sometimes just using the button on the dial is even more epic, and let me show you why. So this right here is an awesome little fidget cube that I redesigned using some Tinkercad skills and made it so that it flips in every direction, and not only that, as it flips, it says HL Mod Tech on it, and it also says Go Whoa. So you can see I not only have a cool fidget cube, but I also cut in the letters Mod Tech, and then on the sides I put Go Whoa, and then I put the YouTube logo with a little heart beside it, and HL. So it's all about my class, but it's also a super fun, awesome fidget cube. So what I did today, which was even more fun, was I took that same HL Mod Tech fidget cube and I used the mixing controls on the GE Tech A10M controller to make this one which looks pretty neat when you can switch from blue to pink but when you start folding it and the colors mix I find it mesmerizing so it's just one more cool thing that you can do with an A10M because of its cool mixing extruder so if you've never used the mixing extruder before, what i found is that I need to wait for the machine to actually start moving before I can set the mixing. This morning I was trying to make this cute little mixed fish, but I forgot. So I got two adorable little flexible bluefish because I was not by here to actually hit the button after it started moving. So there is it creeps toward that 205 degree temperature for the hot end. I'll wait for it to move and then I'll move down into the mixing command, which is a simple scroll. And then I measured my little project. It's about 18 millimeters thick. So I'm gonna set my gradient to start at three. And I'm gonna change it from 3.1 to three. And then I'm going to go down to the end, and because of that 18, I know that I can change it so that it goes like all the way to 12, and it'll be split a little more evenly. And I don't need it perfect. If I really wanted to do the math, I could, but I found that it looked pretty sweet as it was, and then I just need to wait for the whole project to finish. So hey friends, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little reminder about how that mixing extruder works. If you found the video useful, please hammer that like button. If you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, please add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit notifications if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Montana. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.